During thoracotomy, after reflecting thymic remnants, a large venous structure can be noted crossing the midline from the left and emptying into the superior vena cava. This vessel is most likely which of the following? So it is clear from the description that this structure is located in the superior mediastinum, just behind the thymus. It's a vein draining into the superior vena cava, crossing from left to right. Is it the azygous vein? No, the azygous vein is located on the right side and crosses from posterior to anterior above the root of the right lung, and then it drains into the superior vena cava. So it does not cross from left to right. The hemizygous vein crosses from left to right, but it crosses behind the esophagus. It's very deep and located in the inferior mediastinum. Left brachiocephalic vein, this is the correct option. This is the left brachiocephalic vein. It is formed by the union of the left internal jugular left subclavian vein behind the left sternoclavicular joint and then crosses from left to right to join the right brachiocephalic vein behind the first right costal cartilage and form the superior vena cava. Left internal jugular vein, you know, as we said that the left internal jugular vein joins the left subclavian to form the left brachiocephalic and it is the left brachiocephalic that empties into the superior vena cava, not the left internal jugular. Left subclavian vein, again, this is the wrong answer uh, for the same reasons that I have just mentioned about the left internal jugular. The left subclavian vein, it drains into the left brachiocephalic and then the left brachiocephalic drains into the superior vena cava and the left subclavian vein is not crossing the midline. It's not located behind the thymus. The subclavian vein is located behind the clavicle and related to the upper border of the first rib.